Hi guys! Today I decided I wanted to do a video on my top 10 favorite covers that I own in my bookshelf that's pretty much everywhere around my room now. I also wanted to make it a this and that chat because I want to see what you guys um, think is your top 10 favorite covers and why you love them and I'll also be talking about why I love them and I'll show you guys them and I also thought it'd be cool to see what you guys love in your bookshelf so you can make a video response or you can just simply leave a comment. Both would be just as awesome so feel free to do this. I think it'd be really fun, so I'm going to start with number 10 and head my way up to number 1. I'd say that they are ordered in particular because um, it's pretty much from what I love to what I really love. I will be mentioning the people who took the photographs for the cover and who designed it because I feel that when I talk about books I mention the author, so when I talk about the covers I'm going to talk about who um, created, the, created these artistically and who kind of created the fundamentals for this actual cover. Number 10 is going to be Halo by Alexandra Ardenetto. The cover design is by Rich Diaz and he obviously did this gorgeous cover and I think it's beautiful because of the way this, the sun goes in between their faces and I just love how simple it is yet breathtaking. Like her wings against the sun look gorgeous, you can see all the feathers and just her hair is all wispy at the bottom which I love. And I think it's just beautiful. The gold and the black and the yellow together is gorgeous. I also love the spiraling, spiraling around the title. Even though there's not a lot of details on the face, I feel that it says enough and it's just beautiful. I love how they're in black and the sun is what pops out in the yellow sky. Number 9 is Nightshade by Andrea Kremer and this is just a gorgeous, gorgeous cover. Aside from the color, I just love her face and the sparkly pearl finish to the actual book, the jacket. So the jacket photo is by Sousa Scalora and the art direction by Linda McCarthy. Something about this, I think it's the size of the book along with the bright, bright color of the purple and just the way everything comes together. It's just a great scheme. I especially love the white with the bright red and the light purple and the pink on her face. And there's a little blood drip off um, the tea. It has like such a frosty, glowy, and sparkly finish to it and that's one of the reasons why I love it. I also love her glowing eye. I think it's definitely one of the reasons why it's also cool and mysterious. It's not gold, but it's not green either. It's like in between. It's super pretty. Number 8 on my list is definitely more dark and mysterious and kind of creepy in a way than number 10 and number 9. And that is The Iron Thorn by Caitlin Kitteridge and this is a YA debut of 2011. So the cover art is by Laura Jade and the jacket design by Trish Parcel. So yeah, and I especially love this cover. I think the number one reason is the color scheme. It's not dull, but it's definitely muted, but it also has this richness to it. Like there's green, but the hue of the green is almost close to a turquoise, but it matches um, kind of the gold and her blouse has that cool tones to it. And there's just something about it that's so mysterious and cool and enticing, especially the swirls around it. They're shiny and even on the side it's a little bit shiny and I think it already makes a connection with the character. I already want to know who she is, what adventure she's part of, and what she has to do. So yeah, that's definitely number 8 on my list. Number 7 is a little bit more simple, but it just gives the same amount of punch as the other books. And that is Clarity by Kim Harrington. And I think that the, whoa. <laughs> and I think that the fact that there's so much white is the reason why it's so simple. But I think that just her alone makes the book so breathtaking and gorgeous. It just has like an airiness and such a beauty to it that's hard to explain. I think it's the fact that the sun's kind of reflecting off her hair and it's giving her such a beautiful glow. It's so pretty. I just love the, all the colors. I think the turquoise with the white and then there's some purple on the side makes it very simple but very eye-catching. The jacket art is by Ingrid Bars and the jacket design is by Lily Howard. I find it's very clear and I love how realistic she looks because sometimes on covers they photoshop the girls in a way that just looks so unrealistic and weird but with her she looks real, she's there, she's looking right at you and her details on her face are gorgeous. So number six is another big book. It's extremely large. <laughs> it's Tiger's Curse by Colleen Hoke and this is an amazing cover. I still cannot get over it. When I first start, saw it in the store, I was like, oh my god, I have to get that. But then when I read the synopsis, I just knew I had to get it because it sounds amazing. It has this amazing shimmer to it. The tiger's eyes are like glowing and staring right into your soul. <laughs> and yeah, just everything about it, like the hair on the tiger looks extremely real. And this silver detailing it has around, along the edges is just amazing. And I don't know if you can see this, but when you reflect it off the light, 
there's like um there's like a shimmery blue sort of like swirly detail hair actually glows when you turn it to the side I don't know if you can tell but this just this cover just comes to life even when you like just look at it and that's what I love about this book the jacket illustration is by Cliff Nielsen and the jacket design is by Katrina Dam Colher. Number five is a book I recently got and it is called Angel Burn by L.A. Weatherly and there's just something about this cover that is so so pretty and I just saw it and I've seen it like on websites but I didn't think I would end up getting it but once I saw the cover in person I'm like mm, maybe I'll check it out again and yeah it's she's gorgeous I love the glow around her hair and this gold detailing is so so magnificent like it's all over the spine so on your bookshelf it'd be so so pretty the um, front jacket photograph is by Elena S. Giddy and I guess her company is uh, Elena S. Getty Images it has this awesome um, black background and then her orange and yellowy um, photo of her is gorgeous on the black background it's so pretty so breathtaking and I think that it just makes you so excited to read the book which is what I love about covers I also find it cool how the, the name of the author is in turquoise I find that kind of random but it's very cool I mean um, orange is a direct complement color of blue so maybe that's where that came from I think this one stands out which is why it is number five so as we get closer to number one I'm loving these covers even more if that's even possible but number four is Across the Universe by Beth Revis and aside from loving the book I adore the cover and I just think that it tells so much about the story and it gives so much um, depth into what the book is actually like. And Across the Universe is an amazing dystopian novel and as you can see the cover is so pretty. The purples and the pinks and the addition of the stars is so so pretty and I love the fact that you have that glow in between their lips and I think it's very very pretty. The jacket design is by Natalie Sosa jacket flat photograph of girl is by Laura Swift blueprints are by Peter Bollinger what I mean by blueprint is this actual inside cover that doubles as another cover if you don't like this one but I love this one a lot more the cover of the girl is what they mean by this they put it as the picture of the author which is kind of cool in a way purples and blues are my favorite colors so when they're all put together with this awesome starry background I'm instantly um, um, attracted to it I just love it and I love how the eye and universe is that bright, sparkling star. I just love it for simple reasons like her face, how you kind of see it but you kind of don't, and how she's looking up and he's slowly coming down. Just very, very pretty. This is number four because it is gorgeous, breathtaking, and I love it. Number three is Weather by Laura Di Stefano. I love this book so much. It's so hard to explain how much I love this book because it was beautiful and the cover just gives you that feeling. And this cover is very different from the rest. It's very, um, it's very descriptive of what the story is actually about. It's very symbolic. It has a lot of symbols that you won't really understand until you read it. And you kind of have to think about it for a while. And that's why I love this cover because it makes you think and it makes you wonder what's actually going on. Why she has things circled and branched off on this cover. So the jacket design is by Lizzie Bromley and the jacket photographs are by Ali Smith. And yeah, I think they did an amazing job. The photo of the girl is so epic and just everything together is so well put together and just very, very creative. Like, I've never seen a cover like this before. Even the flaps are amazing. Like, on the back flap, you have the side of a bird cage with a bird, which is so pretty. And then on the front flap, you have this gorgeous turquoise with a flower, which is just so, so awesome. I love her hair. The texture is amazing, and the texture in her skirt is awesome. On the back, you have the, um, the, the science equipment, which makes sense once you read it. That connects to her face, which is on the front, and then that connects to the bird, which connects to the hand. So it's kind of like a little... Um, puzzle on the front which is why I love it I mean covers should make you look at it and stare at it and I think they did such a good job on it so that is why this is number three number two is Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare this is the first book in the Infernal Devices series so this is number two because I feel that it accomplished so much with this cover it kind of gives like an old um, vibe to it and that's kind of what this book is about it goes in the past um, way back before the Mortal Instrument series and I think that's just amazing and the bronzy brown behind it is gorgeous and it has like the big Ben and it has the cityscape behind it I think it's just very very cool very engaging I love how the tattoos are glowing and kind of like 
popping out really attracts your attention. The jacket design is by Russell Gordon and the jacket photo slash illustration is by Cliff Nielsen. It's all around gorgeous. There's like gears at the top and I think it's very very cool. It has a, such an edgy sort of vibe to it and I think it's awesome in so many ways. It's so well put together. Like the jacket designers just know what they're doing with this and I just love it. I think it's gorgeous and just phenomenal phenomenal looking. Number one is not like super gorgeous looking. It's kind of subtle but there's just something about it that I love so much. So from the first time I saw it I just knew I had to get this book because I'm a dystopian freak and this cover is like the, uh, the most awesome dystopian cover ever, I've ever seen. So this book is called Ashes Ashes by Joe Tri Trigiari and as you can see the title is yellow but then when you look closely you can see a boy and a girl and pretty much the world is crumbling in front of them. You have like buildings falling and slanted and the water is like so high. It's not the most, like it's pretty exciting but I know it's not like the most gorgeous and like sparkly cover. But I just think that the way the photo looks and the way that the cover pops at you in yellow, it just tells so much about the story. There's just so many cool things about this cover and I love it because it really, really does tell the story. And you look at it, you're like, oh my god, what's happening? What's going to happen in this story? But seriously, just look at it. It's so cool. Even the back has like the falling buildings and the dark sky. It's just awesome. I love this cover like overall so much. The whole end of the world thing is kind of scary and I think this cover really depicts how scary that could be. Like the falling buildings and the water is so like rocky and like the currents are fast and all the buildings are crushed and the way they're looking out is so so cool. Back it says the world has ended what comes next. I love this because dystopian is awesome and I just think this cover is epic. The art is by Steve Stone and the jacket design is by Elizabeth B. Parisi. They did an amazing job because I love this cover on so many levels. I love it so much. I love it. I love it. I love it. So thank you for watching this video. I hope that was fun to see all these cool covers. If you guys want to post a video response telling what your favorite covers are, feel free. I think that would be super cool. Even if you leave a comment on some of your favorite covers, I would love that as well. So leave whatever you feel like. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll talk to you guys soon.